Hello everyone, John Peterson from J. Peterson Photography here. I'm here tonight with another quick little video of, regarding the Luminar 2018 image editing software. This is a new release that came out a month and a half, two months ago. And I am gradually teaching myself this application and I'm recording videos along the way. So tonight I'd like to show just a little bit about the brush tool. So as you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, you have seen where you can call up different filters and different panels of adjustments, as you can see over here on the right. And these are all what I call global adjustments. So they, they affect the entire image. If you want to make targeted or localized adjustments, there's only a couple ways to do that in Luminar, and one of them is using a brush. So similar to Lightroom, but you use a brush to basically paint a mask, make adjustments, and then keep building on different brush adjustments to have multiple layers and multiple masks on your image. So to start, I've, I've already done a little bit of processing to this image, but what gets me and what I'd like to adjust is this bank of clouds right here in the middle. It's a little bit dark for the image and I want to lighten them up. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up here to my layers and add a new adjustment layer. And then you see this little icon right here, it's the brush. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose the brush from the drop down. Now you can see that my cursor has changed to a reticle of the brush. You can increase or decrease the size of the brush by using your bracket keys. Left bracket makes it smaller, right bracket makes it bigger. Sorry, or you can come up here to this setting and adjust the size, the softness, and the opacity of your brush. So for me, I want to just go ahead and paint this cloud bank because that's what I want to adjust. And if you want to see what you've done, this little eyeball right up here can show the painting that you've done. When you have the brush tool activated, this menu bar up here changes and reflects just what the brush is. And a real key thing is, is you can paint or you can erase using the brush. Since I went over the mountain just a little bit, I would like to erase some of what I've done. It looks like I did just a little bit too much. So I'll go paint it back in. Beautiful. Now we can see, I'll turn my mask off. And I just want to put a new set of sliders here because I want to adjust the exposure of that cloud bank. So if I grab my exposure slider, you can see how I'm brightening the clouds, brightening and decreasing the clouds. And once you make your adjustment, you can go back in there and, and further paint with the brush if you want. But let's just lighten this up just a little bit. I want a little bit of contrast, see some definition. I want to boost the whites in this just a smidge. And I think that's about all I want to do. Don't think that in, because I'd like to bring a little, eh, so structure brought out a little bit of the detail in those clouds. Beautiful. So I've got that layer done as best as I want it. If I wanted to add a new localized adjustment, I would follow the same steps. Come up, add a new adjustment layer, select the brush, and let's say I wanted to work on the trees. I could come down here and do this. Add a new workspace or a new filter. And I want to do that. I want to bring the highlights out. I want to bring some contrast up. Just a little bit. I definitely want to bring some saturation up. And I want to put a little bit of structure into that. Make those trunks pop a lot. So that's a real quick tutorial on what to do with the brush and how to create some localized adjustments. 
So please stay tuned for more Luminar videos as well as other photography related videos. Thank you very much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.